right over there is the pavilion at Graymoor. That's the ball field. Graymoor Spiritual Life Center is a uh, retreat center run by the Franciscans. I got in yesterday just before six, right before dark, and uh, I was getting settled in and set up. I decided to tent just right next to the pavilion. And uh, as I was setting up my tent, uh, Texas showed up, so it was nice to have a little bit of company. He made a fire last night, that was nice. And uh, it did rain again. So my tent was wet this morning, but as you can see, it's not raining now, it's just misty. And there is a market. I have to walk about 0.4 back to the trail from here down the road, Franciscan Way, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and uh, go about 0.4 and then another mile or so, and there's the Appalachian Market where I can get breakfast, which would be awesome. And then a few miles after that is Bear Mountain and the Bear Mountain Zoo, which if I get there after 10 o'clock, it will be open. I don't know if I'll get there that late or not. It's a little after eight now, so probably. Uh, it'll be cool to walk through there as well. And then I need to figure out where I'm going to meet my friend Mudbug, who's coming on Halloween to hike with me. I'm so excited. It's gonna be really nice to have her back on the trail again. I just noticed as I'm walking up the hill, there's, there's actually blue blazes here to show hikers the direction to go to the ball field. I was a little confused because I got up here and there was a turn and the road was blocked off, but I went ahead and just went beyond the barricade and found it. It really is a beautiful morning this morning in spite of the mist. Some of the trees are coming in in more color than I've seen before, at least here in New York. There's the Appalachian Market. It's right on the trail. I'm just coming across this way, continuing southbound. Had a nice little breakfast there, French toast, bacon, eggs. It was good extra coffee and I got a soda and a little bit of resupply too. I got some extra breakfast and things that I needed for the next couple of days. Well, I'm just cruising down the trail enjoying my hike this morning. A few minutes ago I saw a couple of deer running away. I had just clicked my poles together so I think I scared them. And then I hear this weird noise. I can't even repeat it. It just sounded almost like a chicken. Oh, forget it. I can't even try it. Anyway, I looked up and a deer is yelling at me. I have never had that happen. It was sort of like a snort squeak, I guess is the best way to describe it. And uh, it was looking at me, it was a doe, and did that noise a couple times, and then uh, ran off. So I guess it wasn't too pleased to have me here on the trail. It's been so quiet, I'm sure that the deer are enjoying the solitude, although I have seen a couple of other day hikers today. So I'm not totally alone on the trail, but anyway, first for everything. I'm on my way down towards the Hudson River now. You can kind of see it through the trees there. I haven't had any really good views of it. And it's extremely steep heading down. These rocks are set up kind of as stairs. I know it doesn't look that way at first, but as you pick your way down, you can see where the setup is. Makes it a little easier to get down, but unfortunately they're very wet and slippery and lots of leaves. So I'm gonna just sort of pick my way down slowly and do my best not to fall on the way. Well, I made it down to the road without wiping out. It took me a good 20 minutes or so to go the half mile down. It was real steep and I have a little ways to go. It's another half mile, I guess, to the Hudson River, to the middle of the Hudson River, according to Gut Hooks. Um, and it's a little bit more steep uh, terrain to go. So I'm gonna keep trucking. And unfortunately it slowed me down a lot. I had hoped to be at the zoo about 20 minutes from now and I think I'm gonna be a little behind that, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, but it's not a race, and I'm not in a big hurry today because I'm only doing 13 point something to get to the next shelter. So, oh, what I didn't realize is that part of this last section is a road walk. So it feels good to just be walking on flat ground for a little bit. I'm anxious to kind of see what's up here. All right, there's a big bridge. I don't know if I'm going over it or under it, but uh, there's a little sign over there. It really needs to be seen, I'll check it out, but this is the and some river. Well, near as I can tell, I'm going over the bridge. I don't know why uh, Gut Hook shows the down elevation, but maybe it's on the other side. I'm gonna check. Okay, after consulting further with Gut Hook, it's clear that I go across the bridge, but for some reason, the elevation on the trail shows going down to the water and walking across the water, which just kind of cracks me up. But it's about a half mile across, so I'm gonna put my camera away for now and get going. Well, I found my way to the zoo. It's a little confusing because you kind of go across the bridge and then double back a little ways. 
and come in by the, the historical museum through the service entrance, I don't really see any white blazing. Unless maybe that's one on that plant marker. <laughs> kind of interesting, so. Oh, there's one. At least I believe that's a white blaze, so I'm gonna keep heading that way, wander through the zoo, and uh, see what's to be seen. Hopefully I will find a nice place to sit and have some lunch before I continue on for the day. The first animal exhibit I see is the coyote. And there's a couple of black bears over there. The zookeepers are feeding them. <laughs> They're a lot lighter than the bears I saw down south in Shenandoah. And these two were raised in captivity. Here's a couple of red foxes. They're beautiful. I've seen just a couple on the trail, but usually it's just a little blur. I know what it is when it runs by, but they are fast. I am back on the AT now, climbing up some very nice stairs. This is actually a demonstration uh, trail that shows how different aspects of the AT are constructed. And uh, it's very interesting. I don't have time to sit and read them all, but very interesting and kind of cool that this is just right outside the, uh, the zoo. And it's a great way to educate people on what the trail is like, how it's made, how it's maintained. So pretty neat. I think I'm about halfway up Bear Mountain, and so far this is the only mountain I've seen that has stairs all the way up. Let's see if they go all the way to the top or not. It's really pretty, and this part of the trail is attached to the Bear Mountain Inn, so I guess they do this a lot for guests that are day hikers and just want to get a taste of the trail, even though it's a little bit of a Disneyland version of the trail. It's still really gorgeous. The answer to my question is yes, the stairs do go all the way to the top. And there's a fire tower, observation tower up here on the right there. And as you can see, there's a car there, so you don't have to climb all the stairs. You can just drive if you prefer. There's some lovely views up here. Over there in the distance is New York City. I'm surprised you can see that far on Mr. Body Day. Climbing up West Mountain, and there's a very nice view up here back towards Bear Mountain. You can actually see the fire tower right up here on the top. And there's a few trees in the ways, but some lovely views of the river as well. Well, I just got to the West Mountain shelter. I was thinking about staying in here, but I don't know. There's all kinds of cooking dishes in here. Somebody left a bottle and trash. I've seen a little ghost hanging in the corner. <laughs> So the fireplaces are really nice, but I'm not sure I want to stay here. I was going to attract all kinds of little critters. So I think I'm going to find a tent spot, but the view is amazing. So I may just set up my tent and then come back and hang out and enjoy the view.